Honestly, is the trip really free and fully paid by Monet or is that just another tactic for you to bring in more people into your team? Hmm. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Karen and I am a micro-influencer on Instagram and I also post content here on YouTube. Um, last time in our last meeting, we talked about um, the famous Monet Motor Club, which is the uh, qualification stage within Monet where you are allowed or you basically qualify to go get your white Cadillac that every single Monet market partner on social media brags about all the time and that is also we said that it's one of those um, psychological things that attracts people to join Monet because who doesn't want a luxury car especially when they tell you that it's free and fully paid but we saw that it's not really free and that it's not really fully paid by Monet and to continue with that same train of thought about um, a multi-level marketing company giving you free stuff um, and fully pay stuff we are going to talk today about um, something that also attracts people to join Monet which is the free trips the fully paid trips to the Caribbean islands that um, Monet does every year so um, uh, let's begin so like everything else in Monet you have to qualify for it you have to earn it so in order to be able to qualify for the free trips or the fully paid trips that Monet market partners brag about all the time you have to qualify for it and this program this qualification stage within Monet is called the passport program and because we are in 2020 this year is called the passport 2020 program so so basically, this is another qualification-based program in which Monet market partners are able to go on a trip um, that they're able to earn um, in order to go with um, themselves or go with their fiance or their um, spouse or their significant other. And they can basically take their partners with them to a Caribbean island or a, a country, a vacation country, um, that Monet picks for that specific year. So in order to analyze the whole scope about this um, Monet Passport 2020 uh, program, we have to see um, what's involved. What is, is it true what the, these people are saying? Is it paid? Is it fully paid? We're going to find out the answers to these questions by analyzing the um, uh, frequently um, questions and answers that uh, people ask about this program and Monet in their website has put a um, basically a FAQ list of all the common questions that people make and we are going to analyze that FAQ in order to come up with um, definite answers as to questions that I know you have had um, and that I personally have had in terms of um, this free trips that Monet be giving away to their market partners. So I'm going to be using my iPad here to go through some of the questions, the more important questions, and we're going to go through them one by one. So the first question that most people ask is, what are the destination and the dates for the Passport 2020 program? So it says here that this year, um, this trip is going to be taking place at Barcelo Bávaro Grand Resort in Punta Cana. If you are Dominican, you know that this is located in the Dominican Republic. So um, today, uh, so so this year's trip sponsored by Monet will be at the Dominican Republic and, and is going to happen from November 4th to uh, the 7th of this year. Um, and to be honest with you, I have a few problems with that trip. And maybe and maybe some of you may or may not know or probably have figured it out because of the way I look or whatever, or maybe not. Well, I am a proud Dominican. I was born and raised in the Dominican Republic. I came to the United States when I was 12 years old. So I came to this country you know fully knowing what my country was all about what, what are the best spots to vacation over there and to be honest with you um punta cana 
in the Dominican Republic is the most touristic area um, for people from for people from other country to come to the Dominican Republic and spend um, an amazing time at the beach and, and spending an amazing time with their family and just enjoying the beauty of the country. Yes, touristic wise, yes. But Punta Cana is not the most beautiful part in the Dominican Republic. Um, there are some other places that I wish myself I can go to and that I hope um, in my life that I'm able to visit in the Dominican Republic that are further more beautiful than Punta Cana. So I know I see the reason why Monet picked Punta Cana to, you know, sponsor their market partners to go over there this year. I get it because it's the more, more um, touristic area over there, but it's not the most beautiful. So you're not going to fully enjoy the beautifulness of the Dominican Republic's best beaches, um, especially the Virgin beaches where um, obviously there are no hotels nor any like good accommodations for tourists to come by because the country doesn't want um, the exploitation of those um, uh, regions. So I see why Monet picked that place. Um, last year I think they went to Cancun in Mexico um, and obviously Cancun is the most touristic area in Mexico but of course is not the most beautiful. If you are from Mexico please let me know down in the comments what is the best vacation spot over there that is not Cancun because I know Cancun is not the best beach in Mexico. There has to be another remote Virgin Island in Mexico that, you know, nobody goes to, etc. But I do see the point why Monet picked this place, so let's just move on. But at least it's, it's a great place. Punta Cana is a very nice place. I've been there twice. Um, both in 2017 and in 2018 and let me just tell you you do not want to come back I mean it's just beautiful beautiful not the most beautiful but it's beautiful and it's enjoyable now the second thing I have a problem with um, is the date range that Monet picked to for this trip to happen November for you to go in November to the Dominican Republic is like the worst and i'm going to give two reasons as the or one reason as to why this is um the first reason is that i know why monet picked this day and is because november is a cheap month to travel to the dominican republic um um the flights are cheap the hotels are cheap um so if a big company and like Monet, multi-level marketing company wants to take all these people to one country to be there at the same time in the same hotel. They have to find a month within the calendar year where the flights and the hotels and everything else is ch slightly cheaper than the other months. Um, the Dominican Republic um, prices go up, especially in the months of December because of Christmas and New Year's. Um, it also goes up in, I think, April or May I don't exactly remember um, they also go up um, in the summer months so yeah so I say why Monet pick this day range for 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 their market partners to go there during that time but here's the problem since I am Dominican and I know how things work over there I know that during the months of June and November the Dominican Republic experiences, as a Caribbean island, uh, major natural disasters due to um, tropical storms and hurricanes. And right now, let me tell you, there's a hurricane, the same one that we are experiencing and that specifically Miami the most in this country is experiencing, um, Hurricane Isaias, is also affecting the Dominican Republic. And not only that, um, but right now, the Dominican Republic is on a 45-day lockdown um, again due to COVID quarantine. So what stops Monet from sending all these market partners off to the Dominican Republic and then the Dominican Republic being on a lockdown again? Like what, what if the president over there decides to stop all tourism to the country? Like what, what's going to happen? Or what's going to happen if you are at Punta Cana if you're a market partner and you're in Punta Cana and another hurricane or another thunderstorm or, uh, or whatever kind of storm comes by and you cannot enjoy your time at the Dominican Republic. So 
See why I'm saying that November is a terrible month to go to the Dominican Republic? I've never been in November to the Dominican Republic because it's just a bad month to go. And don't be surprised if you're a market partner or if you have somebody who is very excited to go to the Dominican Republic this year. Um, and they get there and, and their full experience is just screwed because of a natural disaster. So, you know... I don't know what Monet is going to do if um, something like that happens, but it's something that you really have to, you know, start preparing your mind to start thinking like, what, what if something that is out of the control of Monet happens? What's going to happen? Um, another thing, and this is the last thing that I have a problem with uh, in regards to the dates that Monet chose to go on this trip this year, is that it's only from November 4th to November 7th. That's three nights in total for you to go to the Dominican Republic. And to be honest with you, three nights, it's not enough to enjoy the beautiful weather, the beautiful beach, the beautiful ambience of the Dominican Republic. Every time I go to the Dominican Republic, I have to stay over there at least, at the very least, five days. The most I've stayed is a week. And... It's just good to just get out of this craziness of the United States, the fast life paced um, lifestyle that we we experience here and to go over there and just, you know, turn off your phone and just relax every day at the beach with nothing to do um, and just get to the point where you just get bored, where you like wish you kind of go back to your job because you're so relaxed. So, to be honest with you, three nights, it's not going to be enough. It's just going to go by like this. You're, you're going to be like, oh, wow, it's, it's over. Like, but, of course, I'm pretty sure that if you're a Monet market partner, you want to stay longer past the uh, November 7th uh, deadline of the trip. You can prob I'm sure that you can stay and book more nights into the hotel. Um, but it will have to come out of your own money. It's not money that you're going to be able to, like earn or be sponsored by Monet. Um, so that's that about the location and about the dates that Monet chose for this year's um, trip to a Caribbean island. Um, so let's move on to the second question, which is who can participate in Passport 2020? And it says here that basically anybody who is a market partner within the United States, Canada, the UK, Ireland, and Poland, which are the five countries in which Monet operates. Anybody participating in Monet as a market partner within this um, five countries can, of course, participate in the program as long as they qualify. Now, the third question here says, what is the qualification period? And it says here that um, you have to qualify between the months of February 1st of this year all the way until July 31st. I think today is August 5th. So the qualification period ended five days ago. So if you have not qualified for your, for your um, free trip to the Dominican Republic this year with Monet, you are not going to be able to do so anymore. You're going to have to wait until next year for the next trip to qualify. Um, so yeah. Now the next question is, how can I qualify for Passport 2020? And Monet has given us here a very nice table in which we can see what are the different qualification stages or tiers, as it say here, that you can qualify um, for this trip. So basically, it's not just about, oh, I qualify to go to the Dominican Republic. Like you have to qualify for other like extra things like um, you have to qualify if you want to bring another person or you have to qualify if you want a room upgrade or whatever that is. So let's take a look at the table real quick. And you can see on the left side, it says tier one, two, and three, which are, which are basically like three different stages of qualification. And then in the middle, it tells you what are the requirements that you have to achieve between February and July of this year to qualify for the different tiers or stages. And then on the um, far right side it tells you the award basically what you are going to earn if you reach that tier so if you qualify for tier one for the trip you have to make sure that you have three market partners within your team and nine vip clients you also have to make sure you have a personal group um, sponsorship of 12 market partners and 40 vips within your entire team 
and you also have to have a group volume of 45,000 points um, for the month and you also um, need to be able to have the rank of MMB and I believe the rank of MMB is rank number five within Monet um, so yeah so as long as you qualify for those four things you are automatically um, get awarded the tier one which is trip for one so at this point if you qualify for all these things you're able to go to the Dominican Republic alone like on just you but of course you always want to bring a friend you always want to bring your significant other or whatever or you want to be able to um, you know get more extras for your trip so most people always um, try to reach for tier three um, in this program and what is tier three so it says here that the requirements are that you have to have um, a personal sponsorship of 10 market partners and 30 VIP clients you also need to have within your team um, 40 market partners and 120 VIPs oh my god you also need to have a group volume of 40 of 85,000 points and you need to be able to have the rank of a market mentor which we know that it's rank number seven with a more name um so not only market mentor as we discussed last time gives you the opportunity to qualify for your um white cadillac but it also gives you the opportunity to qualify for tier three of the passport 2020 program which gives you um a trip for two people meaning you and somebody else you want to bring and um and it also includes a room upgrade now this room upgrade i not i'm not entirely sure what are the specifications in here it doesn't say it but i suppose you get a room upgrade and whatever that means in the particular hotel that monet chose to have this trip at this year now in this question we have a very interesting paragraph that i need to read to you guys because this is going to answer the question that I posted on uh, the first uh, question that we analyzed, which is what happens if if a tropical storm comes by the Dominican Republic or if the president bans all travel to the Dominican Republic because they have to go in quarantine again? What happens if something out of Monet's control happens? Let's see what every market partner needs to know, um, you know, or what is it that they have to prepare themselves mentally to know if um, for when November comes and it says here that Monet Global reserves the right to modify trip dates inclusions or program specifics at any time and may even cancel the trip for any reason beyond the reasonable control of Monet or the destination resort for the trip included when not limited to acts of God civil unrest war, transportation, disruption, weather, or national emergency, labor strikes, or any other circumstance that Monet or the destination resort in their sole discretion deem us making this trip impracticable, impossible, or unsafe. Should such circumstances necessitate cancellation of this event, Monet should not be liable for any damages incurred, regardless of whether Monet is advised of the possibility of such damages, nor will Monet be obligated to reschedule this event or provide separate or additional compensation of any kind. So that was a pretty big paragraph, which is super important. But let's break it down into a few things. So what is Monet telling us here? Monet is saying here that if the Dominican Republic experiences some... Um, as it's called here acts of God situation such as weather national emergency a war whatever that is um, and we already talked about the two possible things that could happen in November in the Dominican Republic that could potentially affect your trip which is a tropical storm and um, the president shutting down the country from tourism because of COVID now if any of these two things happen Monet says here that they're not responsible for any damages that you suffer due to this cancellation. Monet um, is most likely going to have to reschedule the event. And if they reschedule or cancel the event, you have no right to go back to Monet and say, hey, please reimburse me for the money that I've spent on this trip. I, it's not fair. Like, it's, it's not my problem that... Um, a natural disaster is coming to the Dominican Republic and I have to lose my money or whatever. No, 
You cannot go back to Monet and tell them that you need to get your money back because the trip is canceled or because the trip was rescheduled. Now, here's the thing. Monet is saying here that they're not responsible for any damages that you that you suffer because of whatever could happen in November. And this is important because if you're planning your trip right now, I'm pretty sure that a lot of market partners are, you know, buying their flights right now and booking their hotels um, if they already qualify for the for the trip. And let's say, let's just put a hypothetical example. I'm a Monet market partner and I qualify to bring my husband with me. But I also want my friend who I love and want her to come to the Dominican Republic with me. So I tell my friend, friend, can you buy your own flight in your own hotel? And I would um, give you the food um, at the hotel in the Dominican Republic. Now your friend is gonna go, she's excited. She's gonna buy her flight, she's gonna buy her hotel so that she can spend time with you at the Dominican Republic. It's probably her, her first time. And so if Monet cancels or reschedule the event, your friend is gonna lose money and you are probably gonna lose money if you decide to extend your stay at the Dominican Republic past the three nights that Monet is sponsoring. So, you know, just make sure that you know what could potentially happen in November before you make any arrangements around this, um, this trip because you could lose money. You can lose money. And there's no way Monet is going to reimburse you that money. So you have to be, you know, I don't know if it will be smart to wait until November to see what things look like. But again, a tropical storm and things of that sort, it's stuff that happens on the spot. And, you know, there's no way for the Dominican Republic to know when a tropical storm is going to come a month ahead. So even if you wait until the beginning of like November, a few days before the trip, you still could probably lose money so just think twice about what are you going to be your decisions and try not to drag anybody with you so that you're not responsible for the damages that other people suffer because you are inviting them to the trip now the next question we're going to analyze here is what is included in the trip and this one is a very very common asked question so it says here that um that qualifiers receive trump round trip coach class airfare from their home airport to Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, and they also get accommodations for three nights. Now they also get um, an all-inclusive package basically for food and drinks and everything of that sort. Um, so that's a pretty um, good package. I mean you cannot go to the Dominican Republic and not go to an all-inclusive resort because you're gonna spend a lot of money, let me tell you. It's very Food is very expensive at hotels over there. So you want to always make sure you go to the Dominican Republic and you get your all-inclusive resort because let me tell you, you are going to have some fun. Now, next question is, what is not included in the trip? And this one is even more important than the one, what's included in the trip because a lot of people think that Monet is going to pay for every little thing that you want when you get to the hotel. So let's see what's not included. It's not included ground transportation, which means that when you get to the airport, you have to figure out how you're going to get from the airport to the hotel and you have to pay for that. Monet is not paying for that. Um, you have to um, get your own room service. So if you feel like having breakfast in bed the next morning, that's up to you. You pay for that. Monet is not paying for that. Um, any excursions or activities that are not in the trip inclusions that Monet is giving you. So there, the fun thing about the Dominican Republic is that you have so many activities to do within the area of Punta Cana. Um, you can do, you can go scuba diving, you can go snorkeling, you can go um, um, fishing, you can go ride um, horses, you can go to um, this uh, remote, remote parks that they have where you can like swim in like very beautiful waters that are like secluded. Um, you can also go to zoos, um, aquariums, you can go to um, ride um, ATVs, etc, etc. So many activities to do over there. So if you're interested in doing any of those things while you're over there, make sure you know that you have to pay for them. Um, they also don't include 
parking, they don't include childcare or babysitters, they do not include any meals that are not included in the all-inclusive package, um, they don't, uh, Monet is not going to pay for your baggage fees, um, they're also not going to pay for any uh, like overtime like, or any um, extra days that you choose to stay at the hotel and they're also not going to pay for your trip insurance so if you decide to put an insurance to your flight they're not going to cover that they're only going to cover the flight from your home state or country to the Dominican Republic the hotel nights for three nights and they're also going to provide you with a all-inclusive meal package at the hotel now the next question is can i bring my spouse um and i think you kind of know the answer at this point because we just analyzed the table of requirements and qualifications but basically it says here that it depends that as long as you qualify for tier two and tier three you can bring your significant other with you and there and that money is going to be able to pay for your spouse's airfare and lodging as long as you qualify for tier two or three um the only bad part about this is that if you qualify for tier one, that means you can only go by yourself. And if you go by yourself, Monet is going to dump you in a room with somebody that's also tier one qualified. So it could very well be the case that when you get to Punta Cana, you are going to be dumped into a room with a stranger, another market partner, probably from another country, um, that you don't know whatsoever and you're just gonna have to you know share a room with that person for however long you're gonna be there now I don't know you probably can like pay your own hotel if you want to have your own room I'm pretty sure that Monet um, allows you to do that but in that case probably Monet is not gonna pay for your own room uh, Monet is only gonna pay if you share the room with somebody else that is already um, tier one qualify as you um, uh, so yeah so that's probably something you didn't know um, the next question is if I earn the trip but can't go can I receive a sustain a substitute reward or allow someone to go in my place hmm so what so this is so this is a very interesting question because things happened what if november comes and you're sick or something an emergency happened in your life and you can no longer take the trip now you probably think you can go back to monet and be like hey i can't go can you um please give me the money and cash or as a bonus in my uh through direct deposit because i'm not gonna go on the trip no monet will not give you the money just because you cannot go on the trip if you cannot go on the trip then you cannot go on the trip and that's it Monet will not give you any cash um, you know to substitute for you not going on the trip so yeah um, last question here that is very important and that we always have to end our videos with this one because it's something that you always have to keep in mind never please when it comes to multi-level marketing companies take this question off your mind and the question is is this incentive included in my year-end totals for tax purposes? And the question is yes. It says here that the value of the trip will be included in your 1099. Again, like everything else with Monet, every little bonus, every little commission that you earn, every single dollar that you receive from Monet on a monthly or weekly basis that amount is going to be recorded in your 1099 tax form. So whatever money Monet is giving you in terms of flight, hotel, um, all-inclusive meal package that they're going to give you for you to go on this trip, yes, you think it's free because at that moment, Monet is giving it to you. But in reality, you're going to have to pay taxes out of that amount at the end of the year. So here comes the magical question the golden question that we have to ask ourselves at the end of this videos and is that is the trip really free and is the trip fully paid by money so let's analyze three reasons again as to why it's not the case number one you have to qualify to be able to go on the trip 
you have to reach a personal volume and a group volume every month to be able to reach the tier that you want to reach in order to qualify for the Passport 2020 program. So in order to qualify for the trip, you have to, you know, um, reach certain requirements and reaching those requirements means that you have to spend a little money. Um, so yeah, now the next thing is, is also that you have to pay your extras. So what I mean by that is that if you want to fly, um, coach, but you need like extra leg room or you want to take instead of one luggage you want to take two luggages or three so not only do you have to pay for your extras but you have to be mindful that monet is not going to pay those extras for you monet is only giving you the basics the the flight the hotel and the all-inclusive meal package anything else outside of that it's your responsibility according to whatever um vacation needs you have um, and last but not least, we also said that whatever money Monet is going to invest in you in sending you off to the Dominican Republic this year, they're going to include any little amounts that they pay towards you um, into your 1099 tax forms because you have to pay taxes off of that amount. So the golden answer of the golden question is no. The uh, Passport 2020 program in which uh, Monet Market Partners qualified to go onto free trips and fully paid trips by Monet is not really free and it's not really fully paid because you have to also pay some stuff for yourself and you have to qualify for these things. It's not like Monet already bought this vacation package for you and they're giving it to you at no extra cost because you deserve it. No, it's not like that. So um, I hope this information has been um, super informative to you and to anybody um, around you that does Monet and that is interested in doing Monet and they wanted to, they and they wanted to know you know just the real truth about these free trips. I hope this has been informative um, because we need to um, you know start thinking about the fact that multi-level marketing companies. Uh, are not looking for your benefit they're looking for their own benefit and to be honest with you it is very beneficial for multi-level marketing companies to have you as an independent contractor and every little money that they give you it's reportable to um, the IRS so in at the in the long run the the multi-level marketing company itself is very benefiting from you you're and even if you think you're benefiting from them they're benefiting from you much much more um so you know don't feel trapped don't feel um seduced into the um psychological attraction that market partners and monet use in social media to tell you that you can earn free stuff that you can earn a free car that you can have free trips no that's not the true story there's a whole lot of reasonings behind that we just analyzed that makes these trips and that makes this car not being free and not fully paid by the company so you know i hope this has opened your eyes as much as it has opened my eyes because i'm learning so many things about monet in specific that I just never you never stops amazing me every day so um if you're new here and you like this content and any other content that I put in uh, so far in my channel, make sure to subscribe because there's going to be a lot more about Monet. Um, in the next uh, video, we're going to talk about something that it's kind of like a secret that nobody really Monet likes to talk about and that not many people know how it works. Um, so I'm going to be doing a little research on that. So stay tuned. Um, but if you've been lingering around here for a while and you haven't subscribed, like what are you waiting for what are you waiting for it would just mean the world to me if you subscribe because this amazing um channel just keeps getting more amazing and um the content is just 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 becoming more spicy and more juicy every single time so i don't know what you're waiting for um but yeah um so thank you guys for tuning in with me i really appreciate it and i will see you guys on my next video